Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 20 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show how you could add a colored vignette to your images. Now, most of you probably know that it's relatively easy to add a vignette to your shot. You go to the Develop module of Lightroom, you go to the right-hand panel to the Effects tab, and you could move this first slider to the left to get a black vignette and to the right to get a white vignette. Well, recently I received an email from someone and they were asking me if you could change the color of the vignette. And the short answer is no, you're limited to white and black. But there is a workaround. And the workaround is using the radial filter. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I'm doing it on this image of the clock because it more readily shows the vignette and it's obvious to you when I'm adding the vignette and the effect that it has. The image is courtesy of dollarphotoclub.com so thank you very much for supplying the image. Now we're gonna go up to the radio filter. The radio filter is the second tool from the right in the tool panel and if you watched any of the previous episodes of Lightroom Quick Tips you'll know that it's real easy to add a radio filter that spans the length in width of the image by holding the command or control key in, command if you have a Mac, control if you have a PC, and double clicking on the image. And you'll immediately get this radio filter on the image that spans the length and the width of the image. Now, we could alter the color right off by just going to the temperature slider. And if I slide it to the left, you'll see we'll get this real cool color on the outside. And if I slide it to the right, we could make it really warm. That, of course, kind of is limited. You're just going to have a cool color or a warm color and maybe a little bit in between. There's a better way. Go down towards the bottom and you'll see it says color right here and there's this little rectangle with an X through it. Just click on that little rectangle and this color picker comes up and as you can see as I hover over it, hover over it a little um, eyedropper up forms and that means we could pick our color. So let's say I want to pick this really dark cool color and you can see the image already kind of uh, adjusted uh, when I added that cool color. Now we could go to the exposure slider and enhance it even more. Move the exposure to the left and it will darken it. You can see. Now we could go way down here at the bottom and it says feather and if I move it to the left it's going to really make it well defined and if I move it to the right it's going to feather it even more. So you have a lot of control over this vignette when you do it. Uh, and then if you decide you don't like it, just click on this little rectangle again and pick a different color. We'll pick something more red, like that. And again, you could adjust it with the exposure, and you could adjust it with the feathering to your liking. You also could try some of the other uh, sliders. Uh, they'll adjust it uh, more subtly in different areas. You just try them out and see if you could get the vignette to look exactly like you want it to look in the image that you're um, applying it to. So that's how you could add a colored vignette to a shot by using the radial filter. That's it. I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. Thank you very much. I'd particularly, particularly like to thank everyone that has purchased my Lightroom presets and my Photoshop actions. Thanks to you, it allows me to do all these free videos, so thank you very much. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that's it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys soon.